This is January of 2017. What we're going to look at here is uh, the way some people heat their home, in, in particular here at uh, Arkansas here where we have lots of trees. Behind us here we have some wood there that uh, we cut and hauled in. Now most of that wood is cut in like three stick length. There's a little bit of it here. Some of it's already been cut out. But uh, you see a little bit of it there. On around behind there's more of it. But uh, over here we have about two ricks there that's, that's stacked. And we'll cover that up so it'll be dry. We have a little bit more behind there that's, that's been, uh, that's left over from last year. But over in the woods, we have several more ricks that we haven't brought in yet. But uh, in a year's time, in a season through the winter, in, in this house right here, we'll use about 10 ricks. We don't use any other, we don't use any other heat in most cases, except the uh, wood from the heat there. More about that when we go inside and look at, at the heating system there. And as you can see, today is a nice winter day with uh, no uh, no sunshine. It's uh, about 30 degrees outside, which uh, good warm heat from firewood feels feels really good today. What we're looking at right now is our chimney, where where we uh, have our fire there. We'll look more inside in a minute, but as you can see, it has a cap on top there. And that chimney is about uh, between seven and eight feet wide, about uh, two and a half feet deep, and about uh, 18, 19 feet tall. And uh, that chimney is made for building a fire in it. Inside the uh, chimney there, inside the house, we'll look more at that in just a minute. But what we have is we have a plenum there that has some blowers that distributes the heat through ductwork through five rooms in, in this house. This house is about 1,770 square feet of uh, heated space there, excluding the garage that you see right there next to the chimney. So on that note, let's go in and take a closer look at the chimney itself inside there. Right here, we're looking at the chimney more inside now. As you see, it has a, it has a double door here with a secure, secure latch on it. Inside, you can see you can see a little bit of fire in there. There's not a lot in there right now. But it don't take much to keep this house warm because uh, it, it's uh, energy star efficient with double windows and uh, good insulation. The doors latch one behind the other. Down below there is, is how you let air into the fire itself. Now over here on the right side, you have a blower and on the left side behind the wood, the wood box there, you also have another blower. Now, this, this, this heat discharge, there's, there's a discharge here above the, above the chimney here, but there's also, there's one in this room here, and there's one over there in the dining room area, and then back in the, uh, down the hall there, there's three, there's three bedrooms that have have uh, ductwork. Now this ductwork is not the same ductwork that the heating, the regular heating, this also has other heating. It has heating from, from gas, uh, gas furnace, and it also has air conditioning. That ductwork is separate from the ductwork that works off of this chimney here. The way this works, it, uh, the blowers pick the heat up out here pass it by the plenum in back of the firebox here and it goes out into the various rooms as as we just shown there in the ductwork. Now how do you control the thermostat? There's a thermostat that controls the blowers and we have it on the wall over here and we have it behind the door in case we want it to run longer and it also has numbers on there from 50 up to 80. We normally run it about 70, but by keeping the door closed a little bit there, it makes it it makes it run longer. What we don't want is a lot of extra heat in the firebox there, and to control that, you, you most of the time we have the heat 
the air turns completely off. It 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 uh, you don't need much air to have enough fire in there to keep the house warm. And this is a very safe system. I only know of five other houses that has this right here. We got this in uh, 19 and 93 from the local uh, brick supplier just down the road here. And uh, like I say, it's very efficient. Of course, it's got to be done with masonry, uh, stone or masonry, uh, mortar and brick, of course, or rock. I didn't build this particular one, but I did build one in Hot Springs. I built it from, from the ground up. It's identical to this. As far as I know, it still works as well as it did on day one. But as I said, this has been in service since 1993 and it still has no problems. I clean it usually twice a year, at least twice a year, go up on the house and swab out the uh, the uh, chimney uh, flue there to keep any uh, to keep any uh, creaso buildup from creating a fire. But you know we're very cautious about letting let the fire get too warm, and that's what causes your chimney fires when your is when your fire gets too warm and it it can uh, actually destroy your chimney if it gets too hot like that. But uh, hope you enjoy this video and. and any comments that you have, post them and um, we'll try to answer them. If we didn't answer all the questions now, uh, anything you have, anything, any questions you have about where, where to obtain one of these, I'm not sure right now, but I can I can research it and try to find out if you're interested in getting this kind of a, a uh, chimney uh, flue assembly there. But uh, it, it really works well. Hope you enjoy the video. How much wood do you use? Well, we have ran this for three days here during the holidays, uh, the end of December, into January, and the average size SUV in the back compartment behind the rear seat, you could you could haul us the wood that we've used since Thursday in the back of that SUV. Just spread you a blanket in there and go out in the woods and get you some nice wood there, buy you some wood at the local uh, wood store or wherever. And you can have three or four or five days of, of nice wood heat, just like we're having today here. Now, for the for the season, for the season, I use lots of wood. I don't really pay that much attention to, to how much I use, but I use probably nine ricks from the fall until the spring until. Uh, but that's probably the exception right there. But you could you could get by with a lot less wood just by supplementing your your regular. I call it the store bought heat. The uh, gas or electric, which, like I said a while ago, we have we have the gas heat also in a in a in a furnace here. That's also a central unit, just like the uh, heat that we're looking at here from the chimney. So it, it varies. You could you could do uh, if you do the full blown from fall until spring, eight or nine rick if you stay at home a lot, or you could get by on a couple of rick there just by heating it on weekends and maybe after work a little bit. You could enjoy a, a real nice comfortable home there with a nice toasty heat. There. It's really really a good pleasant feeling to have that nice toasty heat coming out on your on your uh, body there and, and uh, you can sit around with short sleeves on or your shirt off and you're just real comfortable even in, in nice cold weather outside. Yeah, you hear the crackling of the wood? Right. You can hear the you can hear the crackling of the fire there. You can open this door here if you want to if you want to see the fire. You can open the door and enjoy the uh, enjoy the uh, atmosphere there. A nice nice fire uh, right here in your home there. Yep. But it's it's really good. It works either way. With the doors open or the doors closed. If you're going to be right here by it, you may want to just have the door open, but if you're off in another room, you, of course, want to have that shut because you have the risk of uh, charcoal coming out here on your floor, and you don't want that. Uh, if you're going to leave that open, you'd want to put a screen up there anyway. Yeah. You can buy a screen at your local hardware store, home builder supply. Thanks.